Hi everybody. We got some very rare additions to the eel pit today. Uh, they are going in the grow out tank for now. They'll probably have take about a year before they're ready to go into the pit. But first up we have a Chinese perch. This is probably the most common of the fish I did get. Uh, these guys are cool. They're like a cold water datnoid or a, almost like a freshwater grouper really. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of like a Chinese bass. So they got that really cool like matte red spotting and they'll get about 18 inches. Then next up we have, they don't really have a common name in English yet, uh, but like a Tibetan stone loach would probably be. Uh, it's not going to come up with anything on Google. I'll put the scientific names of all these fish in the description just because the common names are pretty useless right now. Uh, but yeah, these guys get big. They have the chance to get about probably two foot, maybe up to 30 inches. Uh, they're pretty rare in the wild. They're becoming threatened. Uh, but these ones are all captive bred kind of for the food industry more than anything but then the pet trades buys from that. But yeah, they're a cold water loach. Um, they do better under 70. So I'll actually have to worry about the summer temperatures, but like the sturgeon, they should be okay with enough oxygen. You can see when I put them both in the tub, they kind of right away swam together and cuddled up. But yeah, these guys will be amazing. Uh, one of them already did start coming up and eating out of my hand. You can see I was dropping the pellets down to him and he did actually come up and take some from me. All right, next up, we have some Indian gold mashir. These are the largest species of mashir. Uh, historically in the wild, they got absolutely massive. Uh, now three, Nowadays, three to four foot is considered pretty big for them. Uh, but then also in there, the spotted fish are perch barbs. Uh, again, that's not going to come up with anything on Google probably, uh, but I will put the scientific names. But yeah, they, they both the mashir get absolutely massive eventually. Uh, they're very slow growers. But the perch barbs can also get about two foot. It'll be super interesting to have these in the eel pit. They're almost like a carp and a trout mixed together. They got that long slender body and then the little whiskers. Then the mashir are almost like, really like a tarpon and a carp mixed together. Just a giant, massive predatory bottom feeder. So it'll be really, really cool to get all these in here. See the two loaches there. And uh, the school of the perch barbs. You can see they're all eating pellets already, so... Very excited to get these guys growing.